As launch day approaches for Space Shuttle Discovery's final flight to the International Space Station, the STS-133 crew members prepare for liftoff by participating in the Terminal Countdown Demonstration Test, or TCDT, at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The six crew members flew in T-38 jets to Kennedy's shuttle landing facility Tuesday, October 12th. They were greeted by Shuttle Launch Director Mike Leinbach, astronaut Jerry Ross, and media gathered for the crew's arrival. Veteran astronaut Steve Lindsay commands Discovery's flight, assisted by pilot Eric Bowe, mission specialist Nicole Stott, Tim Copra, Alvin Drew, and Michael Barrett. During the three days of training, Lindsay and Bowe made several takeoffs and landings in the shuttle training aircraft, a modified Gulfstream jet designed to simulate the shuttle gliding unpowered onto the three-mile-long runway. As part of safety training on Launch Pad 39A, the astronauts were briefed on the pad slide wire baskets and on the ground at the safety bunker, part of the emergency exit system, located 1,200 feet west of the pad. It's uh, great to be here for uh, TCDT and uh, to go through that again. And uh, uh, the vehicle's looking great. All of our activities are going great. We are basically trained and ready to fly. Just a few more. Uh, Few more weeks of activities we need to go through and then we'll be uh, hopefully back here for an on-time launch on November 1st. The astronauts were also instructed on how to drive the M113 armored personnel carriers out in the field. M113 training was developed to transport the flight and pad crew to safety in the unlikely event of a contingency on the pad before launch. On the final day at Kennedy, the astronauts suited up in their custom-fitted orange launch and entry suits and helmets in preparation for a full launch dress rehearsal. After traveling in NASA's Silver Astrovan, they arrived at the pad's white room on the 195-foot level and climbed aboard Discovery, aided by the closeout crew. As realistic as launch day itself, the flight crew took part in a simulated launch countdown that included operations and communication checks of a real liftoff, right down to a mock engine start. The final exercise included emergency pad evacuation procedures and jumping into the slide wire baskets. After wrapping up TCDT training, the astronauts climbed back into their T-38s and returned home to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. Discovery's STS-133 mission is targeted for a November 1st liftoff to the International Space Station.